Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Depot out of Cena. Now I'm shooting this video specifically to those who are in Nigeria because something is getting ready to happen that is going to negatively impact millions of Nigeria. And I think most people need to know this to prepare for what's coming. Now to give you a picture of what's getting ready to take place, I'm going to use Zimbabwe as an example. All right. In 1980, Zimbabwe introduced their own dollar currency. Okay, this is one dollar Zimbabwe money. As of 1980, this one dollar was equivalent to one dollars, one dollar and 47 cents as of 1980. By the year 2007, to get one dollar, all right, you needed four, I mean, 37 million of this to get one of this, which means that their money became worthless because of all the turmoil and they, you know, that was taking place in Zimbabwe. By the year 2009, they dumped their own currency in pursuit of dollars because this became their real value. So right here, guys, is real Zimbabwe money of $50 trillion. It got to a point that they started using wheelbarrow to move this money around because it was that worthless. Nobody was using this. Everybody wanted real dollars. Now, here's how this relates to Nigeria. Nigeria's main source of foreign exchange dollars that comes into the country is through crude oil. All right. As I'm talking to you right now, globally, nobody is buying crude oil. All right, which means everybody that's producing crude oil, they are at a loss. It's so bad that people, companies, countries are having to pay buyers to take the crude oil from them because there's nowhere to store the crude oil. So now that Nigeria doesn't have any type of foreign exchange coming in with the exception of, you know, those Nigerians in the diaspora that are sending money back home, that is creating a big problem. So much so, just like Zimbabwe, Nigerians are dumping their Naira. This is 1,000 Naira in exchange for dollars. Nigerians are dumping this for this right now. How do I know? A month ago, Naira, to get one of this, you needed 360,000, uh, 360 Naira about a month ago. Today, as of today, today, you need 450 Naira to get one of this. And it's just the beginning. Because Nigerians are starting to wake up that this thing is soon becoming very, very worthless. I mean, it's, it's, up, it's becoming worthless at a rapid pace. Okay? I told my friend uh, who lives in Nigeria also a month ago when Naira went from 360 to 370. I said, listen, go and pull your money from your savings. Go and pull your money from mutual funds in Nigeria because they're, they're not paying. They're paying pennies and change your money into dollars. At that time, the rate was at 370. He did that. So the, night, the dollars he bought at 370, if he was to go and sell that dollar back, he's selling it at the rate of about 450 right now. Right, which means that he made some profit. But at the same time, if you have dollars right now, this is not the time to sell it. Because Naira is become right now, today's 450. Yesterday it was at 430. So 20 Naira jump in difference within 24 hours. That means that in the next coming weeks and months, this thing might hit 1,000 Naira. All right. You might have to spend 1,000 Naira to get one dollar. That means at that point, this paper is uh, pretty much worthless. So here's my advice to all Nigerians watching this, all right? You don't have to believe me. Just keep watching and see what happens. Number one, if you have Naira in millions or whatever kind of Naira you have that's tangible, go and change it into some kind of foreign exchange, of uh, foreign money, whether dollars, euro, pound, whatever. Get rid of your Naira and put it into a different currency that's not Naira and hold on to it. Number two, you can invest your money or start a business, something that increases the value of your money. So if you're investing outside of Nigeria into something that pays you in dollars, this is the best time to do that, right? Your mutual fund money in Nigeria right now is going to become worthless. Any form of investment that's paying you in Naira, 
All right. You might get a return, but what you were buying for 100 naira today, you might be paying for that very same thing at 1000 naira tomorrow. So do something that's increasing the value of your money. And number three, listen very closely to all my fellow Nigerians. Find a way to get involved in the agriculture sector. In the 60s, agriculture was the backbone of Nigeria. All right. Until Nigeria discovered crude oil and we abandoned agriculture. Now we are abandoning crude oil because it's not bringing any money. And Nigeria, even the government knows that we got to start diversifying. And the next biggest thing in Nigeria right now is agriculture. Because guess what? People don't drink crude oil. People don't drink refined oil. But people must eat every day. Whether you're rich or you're poor, you have to put something in your stomach. You have to drink something. That is why agriculture is going to be the next backbone of the economy. All right. So I hope you guys have learned one or two things. Please and please share this video with as much as many people as possible so that they can understand what's going on in the country so that you're not being lied to by anybody and you are doing whatever you have to do to protect yourself, your family and your finances. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.